welcome to the video on chemistry manufacturing and controls this is called as cmc information for the pharmaceuticals and also it is required for the biological formulations i hope you might have heard about the term chemistry manufacturing and control and it is abbreviated as cmc information so let's start with the video regarding the cmc cmc is nothing but the abbreviation for chemistry manufacturing and controls for the pharmaceuticals as we know that the drugs should be safe should be effective and should meet all the quality parameters the quality parameters of safety and efficacy should be there should be met for the pharmaceutical formulation throughout the shelf life till the expiry period so cmc information cmc documentation is required for the regulatory compliance and for regulatory approval cmc documents are required and these provide essentials for quality safety and efficacy of the drug product the cmc information gives idea about how the drug substance is being manufactured how the drug product is being manufactured what are the critical steps and how these are controls are there to have the quality product and the quality product will be safe and effective so the cmc information includes the parameters which affect the quality of the formulation these are called as parameters for quality the parameters affecting the product quality are related to active pharmaceutical ingredients or drug substance or drug substances if the product is combination type of formulation then inactive materials or raw materials or excipients process of manufacturing of the drug substance and the drug product quality test and their limits that is specifications method of analysis method of testing and the validation for the analytical method then quality control method for the drug substance and formulation then analytical method for the stability testing of the drug substance and drug product stability and shelf life of the drug substance and the drug product and the documentation for all the quality parameters so now we will see what is the cmc for drug substance details for the api chemistry that is related to the structure molecular weight then chemical formula and all the details of the chemistry then all the details for the physical properties like example is particle size distribution how the particle size distribution is being controlled for the drug substance physical properties then api characterization all the details related to the physical parameters physico chemical parameters chemistry of the api then api manufacturing process so route of synthesis that is called as ros how the drug substance is being synthesized how it is purified and how it is converted to crystalline form if the api is in crystalline form so synthesis and purification control limits and specifications for the api identification purity quality and potency of the api so how the api is being manufactured what are the critical steps for synthesis purification how the in process and finished product specifications are designed how the analytical methods are validated and controlled so 
all these parameters will give complete CMC for the active pharmaceutical ingredient or drug substance. Then coming to the drug product or drug formulation. It involves qualitative and quantitative composition because formulation is made up of APIs and excipients. Then functional characteristics of the raw materials. What is the exact function of each and every excipient or raw material in the formulation that should be defined. Then control standards for the raw materials. So you can relate critical material attributes in this section. Then manufacturing process and control standards. So CPPs are there. Then in process controls and the specifications. If you consider the tablet formulation or capsule formulation, that time blend assay, blend uniformity will be in process control. Then uh, water content or LOD may be the in process control. And then finished product specifications. In capsule filling and tablet formulation, uh, compression stage, the stratified sampling is the in process control and it is to be clearly defined into the method of manufacturing and how the manufacturing process is validated or performed, what are the controls for the future batches, then control standards for the raw materials, intermediate stage materials like bulk uh, materials and finished product, how the specifications are designed and how these are controlled. Then documentation related to manufacturing like batch manufacturing record, batch packaging record, protocols, in process protocols. So all these are required to be documented. The documentations are required to be prepared. Then analytical method and validation. It is very very critical and very important part of the CMC. Verification and validation of the testing procedures for reliability and accuracy of the drug substance testing also the drug product testing so how the analytical methods are verified how these are validated how these are transferred and how these will be routinely used for the commercial manufacture product testing analytical testing methods for drug substance and drug product raw materials and intermediate stage materials then analytical method for the stability samples and controls then documentation related to the quality control and analysis so all these stages are required to be included starting from the research phase then transfer phase and the commercial phase for the formulation then coming to the stability testing and data generation or data representation so stability of the drug substance and drug product to be given the data is to be included retest period for api to be included and expiry period for the drug product so the data supporting the retest period expiry period is to be given other stability studies as required for the formulation that may be in use studies photo stability study freeze cost study or the stress studies all these data are required to be given and documentation related to stability should be available so now coming to the CMC, C for chemistry, M for manufacturing and C for control. So chemistry of the drug substance and formulation composition, manufacturing of the drug substance and formulation and controls that means specifications, limits for the drug substance and drug product manufacturing including the in process and finished product. So in short the CMC involves mainly the specifications for consistency in the manufacturing and required controls in place to ensure the quality, safety and efficacy. See, quality is required to be built into the product from the research phase and that quality is required to be ensured for the upcoming commercial batches or commercial manufacturing. So, CMC serves the key point for testing the quality characteristics whether the quality is built into the product or not and whether 
and how it will be going to be maintained throughout the commercial production run so cmc is required for submission for the regulatory approval in short you can understand that all the information related to the chemistry then manufacturing and controls and the specifications it involves analytical method also it involves stability testing also and it involves the manufacturing and testing of the commercial batches cmc also involves the consistency in the manufacturing and the controls to ensure the quality purity safety and efficacy of the drug product so this is the short information regarding cmc i hope you might have got some idea about the cmc uh, information for pharmaceuticals thank you for watching the video